Willkommen zu unserem Bericht über die jüngsten Unruhen in Middlesbrough. Ich zeige euch Aufnahmen eines englischen YouTuber, der die Ereignisse eines chaotischen Abends in der Stadt aufnimmt. Hier sehen Sie die Eskalation der Proteste und die Folgen für die lokale Gemeinschaft. It's obviously not racist. You're not British, are you? We should be joining together with the Muslims. This is England. Don't take over England. <laughs> It's not a religious battle or a racist battle. It's a government battle now. Whoa! Get the court turned over. That's what they need to do. Huh? Where do I go? Get out of the car. Get out of the car. Send me your location. Send me your location. Alles begann mit einem Protest in Middlesbrough, der ursprünglich friedlich verlaufen sollte. Doch schnell entwickelte sich die Situation zu einem ausgewachsenen Aufstand. Die Menschen versammelten sich, um gegen soziale Ungerechtigkeiten und Rassismus zu demonstrieren. Doch die Stimmung kippte. Anfangs schien der Protest organisiert und friedlich, aber bald wurden die Demonstranten unruhig und aggressive Gruppen begannen, die Situation zu destabilisieren. Trotz der anfänglichen Ordnung der Polizei wurde es schnell klar, dass die Lage außer Kontrolle geraten könnte. However, now it seems that some people are using this as an excuse to cause violence and disruption to society. Middles were just here. You can see that shops are boarded up. The locals here are very scared about what's going to happen. This is also the second highest place in the country for knife crime, which is, uh, it says it all really. So today we're going to go to the protests and find out why they're here. Let's go. Look at that, even your local shop that will sell vapes and alcohol. Bloody hell, look at this, guys. Huge crowds. Yes, my mama. Yo, what's it been like, lads? What's up, It's been quite peaceful so far. What? Fucking hell. It's been peaceful so far in Middlesbrough. Yeah, 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 yeah. What's the reason for coming today? I got, tra I got trapped in it by accident. I'm not even going to be here. Yeah? I don't even know why it's going to be. Fairs, man. Fairs, man. Wow, guys, all sorts of people here today. But yeah, this is the high street, completely shut. All the shops are boarded up. But yeah, it seems like all walks of life have, uh, have come out today. Let's try to chat to a few of them and see the reasons why they're here. But hopefully, there's not, not much trouble. I don't know where the police are. But yeah. Wow. Yeah, so I've seen a big turnout in Middlesbrough. What's your reason for coming today? So, obviously, I've seen it online. Uh, obviously, in light of recent events and whatnot, so I to uh, pay my due, pay my respects. But how do you feel like online? I feel like this pro the protest so far this weekend, particularly, some areas have used it as an excuse to cause violence and stuff like that. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter what, it sort of, what it is. There's always going to be uh, people who take it too far. There's always going to be the far right, the far left or whatever. Yeah. So they're the small minority. Like, they don't represent the message as a whole, you know? Right. But do you think protests like this is a good way to send a message to the government? Do you think they'll actually listen after this? If done peacefully, yeah, absolutely. But, yeah. like I say, obviously, The, the, the message is going to be diminished now by what's went on today, sadly. Yeah. So far, what I've seen has been fairly peaceful. So I've only just got here, but when you see people in certain clothing, balaclavas and stuff, does it kind of send the wrong message, do you think? Yeah, I wouldn't lie. I'd say so, yeah, obviously. And like I say, obviously the media now, they're not going to, they're not going to uh, say how well we've done or you know, how many people showed up to support the cause. Or it'll all be about the... Uh, What, what's happened now and you know the damage that's been to, uh, like yeah exactly and i think like when stuff like that does happen the message gets lost so yeah, what do you, what is the solution <sighs> government needs to start listening to people before it gets to the stage yeah but I if, it, if you know uh, yeah but if it gets to this stage and people find out that the only resolution is violence and smashing up shops and That's just gonna, you know, that's gonna be every protest in the future. Well, exactly, it's just an endless circle, so something's got to give, and if I had the answers, I'd be in the office now, wouldn't it, then down the street, I guess, so... Oh, Seriously, where's that? Perfect. Yeah? Yeah. By the way, is it safe around here? I've heard this is, like, one of the most yeah, dangerous... Yeah, it's not bad around here. Well, yeah. it's town, so it's one of them, yeah. yeah. I just keep your wits about you, mate. Yeah, 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 cool, mate. Wow, some kids are literally smashing windows. What are they doing? They're literally, like, young kids. And guys, that's what I'm talking about. When you go to these protests, there need to be people, even myself, yeah, myself, but 
just the local just saying, hey, that's not right, you know? Literally, I don't know if people are living in them. YouTube, Looks like they're being built. Während der Proteste begannen einige Gruppen Gewalt anzuwenden. Die Ereignisse eskalierten schnell, als Fenster zerbrochen und Autos in Brand gesetzt wurden. Die Polizei war überfordert und konnte die Situation nicht ausreichend kontrollieren. Mate, how do you feel about that? People were smashing the windows. Uh, bloody hell. Literally some lads smashing some window. I didn't know what, like, what's the point? That's what I'm saying. Some people just come here just to, like, cause trouble. Oh, so what's the reason you guys are here today? Support on our country, mate. Yeah, when you, when you say support, what is it to do with? Because there's been a lot of mixed messages. Was it to do with the three girls that are murdered? Is it illegal immigration? Both, mate. It's not safe here anymore. And that's the fact. So. Would you say Middlesbrough itself is quite multicultural? All, all walks of life living here? Oh, definitely, mate. Yeah? Everyone. Not the worst thing in the world. But, you know, like, ah, oh, that's not fucking good, is it? But, yeah, I mean, like, you guys live here. This is your local community. How does it make you feel when you see, like, the local taxi car getting smashed his windows in? It's just, people are just drove to it now. Like, if, if it could happen another way, wish it would, but this is how it's got to go, innit? Yeah. But, I mean, do you think... Obviously, freedom of speech, people in Middlesbrough can have their say, but do you think we should be going to maybe, like, your local MP's office or the government building? Or what? Won't do anything, but same old. Same old, Paul. Yeah. I know we're walking, but I've been in uh, London and Nottingham. There's a big police presence. Where are the police at the minute? It seems like we're walking freely. They don't, they don't have a clue, to be honest. They've, they actually don't. Yeah. Stupid, that's man. Wow, but look at that one. They're, they're nowhere to keep us away from. They've got the fuck in it. I mean, this woman probably lives right here, no? And a window just been smashed. That's Mate, true. that is unbelievable. Is there a moss around here? God knows. Oh, there you go. Wow. So this is like a local... Masjid, yeah, the local mosque. And there's a, it literally just threw a brick, a stone through the window. Wow, that is really uh, sad to see. Wow. Really different scenario from what I've seen in London and Nottingham. Nottingham was in a city centre, but Middlesbrough, we're literally walking through a residential area. Like, it's proper built up, there's houses and stuff, all sorts. Oh. Bloody hell, what's going on? You know. People are running. I don't know what's happening. People are just people are just running. Whoa! Fuck. <laughs> I don't know why we're running. People just started sprinting. There must be at least two... I'd say there's like 500 people here. These guys have got sticks in their hands. There's literally cars being smashed. Whew, guys, everyone started running towards me. I thought I better start running too. Wow. Man, this guy's in camo. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Guys, this is pretty dangerous, I'm not gonna lie. There's police on, uh, on that side. They're in riot gear with shields, and to be honest, compared to London, I don't really blame them. All I'm hearing is windows getting smashed. Whew, me. There's the people here. People are just using this as excuse to cause destruction. me. Bloody hell, mate. Fucking hell. Fucking hell, mate. Jeez. <laughs> Guys, I drove up here. Just to give you context, this is about five hours away from London. And my car is literally parked about ten minutes down the road from here. I don't know if it's even safe. Wow, there's officers here in riot gear. I don't know what they're gonna think of all this. Berichte zeigen, dass Autos angezündet wurden 
und Geschäfte geplündert wurden. Die lokale Gemeinschaft war zunehmend besorgt, als die Gewalt auf die Straßen und in Wohngebiete übergriff. Die Polizei versuchte, die Lage einzudämmen, aber die Ressourcen waren begrenzt. Wow. That's such like a local taxi car. Bloody hell, guys. Hi, excuse me, mate. Do you live around here? I do, mate. I... What do you think of all this? I've just been seeing cars getting smashed and all sorts. Ridiculous. Yeah. It really is. What's your reason for not joining in with them? Because and... I'm not a fucking asshole like them. Yeah. I'm here just to voice my opinion. I'm not happy about it. I'm disgruntled and that's it. Yeah. Make the twat yourself ain't helping matters none, is it? Yeah. I mean, do you think this should be done? Maybe protesting in a local government, outside the lo local government office? Well, or really, I've been, they've already smashed the council offices up in the town and the courts. Yeah. I'm good enough for them. Yeah. No sympathy for the government. It's off the street. Simple. This place is not safe. They're smashing normal people's windows in the house. Tell me if any trouble happens, yeah? Just call me straight away. It's crazy. I'm not joking. I'm not joking. Be careful, you're yeah, be yeah, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Okay, look, now I see the riot guys behind me. I was just, um, I just spent a few moments speaking to the local residents here, and this is the first time I've actually seen a proper police presence, but there's nothing like in Nottingham or in London. I mean, here there's only about 10, off uh, 10 officers and about three vans. We're in public. So, yeah. So. There you go, this is crazy, guys. Look at that to the right of me. There's already a window that's been smashed. Yeah, how do you feel about all this? I'm ill. I'm really nervous. Do you live around here? No. Are, are you fairly local? You're local, yeah. I didn't think it was going to be this bad, though. What, what's, your, what's your reason for coming today? Peaceful to protest. Yeah. And Peaceful remembrance for children. Yeah. You mentioned that we've just raised thousands as well for them kids' funerals. Go on, yeah. What's been happening? Tell me. Uh, we've raised thousands and thousands for them little kids' funerals and in, what have you, yeah. In but, Middlesbrough? Yeah, yeah. but the police who've started the violence today, not any of us, they've started it. So obviously we're Italian. I don't agree with all the violence and everything. That's all I've seen, up. yeah. That's all I've seen. Yeah, well, I don't agree with that at all. Yeah. Yeah. But, but, um, what is I the message, want, though, when, pe when local... People are frustrated and angry because they're just letting them in for a nilly and the rib and our kids. But, but I know that. We all, we, all, we all feel... We just want our town back. That's we, all. we all feel sad about it, but it's smashing windows, the answer. We should be joining together with the Muslims because it's yeah, got definitely. nothing to do with exactly, race. Exactly. We're not racist. Yeah. We should be sticking together and stop the boats coming in. But do you think people just come here for a punch-up and just uh, smash things so. up? Yeah, yeah, it's the young'uns, it's the kids and stuff like this. But which is I don't it, condone. But then what is it? Is it? Isn't it the responsibility of the elders to put them in check and just say, well, we look, what you're doing? Time, but at the end of the day, they'll turn on us as well, so you can't really tell them. We've told the young'uns, little kids putting windows in and stuff, we've told them. But like I said, the police have started all this. It was peaceful till they start. I've only, I've only just got here about an hour ago. What has it been like earlier today? It's been peaceful, very peaceful, till like we started March and then the police started. Yeah. I mean, they have got riot gear here and everything. This is a... Uh... Wow. Guys, I'm not joking, this feels a bit like a war zone. I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know where to stand as I'm filming this. Like, every corner seems dangerous right now. There's guys here with uh, shields, nothing compared to what we saw down south and in Nottingham. Wow. And uh, there's a reason why all these shops are boarded up today. There's a lady in Iceland there. Her door's open, but... Wow. What do you think of all of it, mate? I think it's disrespectful to the bench, all the violence. Yeah. It's disrespectful to all them that have died through night time. Yeah, are you, are you local? Are you from here? No, Newcastle. Newcastle. Why have you come to Middlesbrough, though, then? Because I want to support the bench. I got stabbed. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people said they're here for the children, or some have. But the, both. But some people clearly come to cause trouble, no? Yeah. I think so, because you can tell with the face masks. Yeah, when you come in balaclavas and stuff, it sends the wrong message, doesn't it? Yeah. When they come, just to be peaceful, and it yeah. keeps going downhill. But it makes you question, these protests get, happen like on the spot, maybe overnight, and I don't know if they get like regulated by the local councils have been approved, they just kind of happen, and I think really you have to put safety first I at times. I think it's two tier policing. I think if there was one tier policing, it would be peaceful. I think, well, they're fighting against the police as well because if something happened, like I've been told that they're around the mosque with baseball bats, 
and nothing's happened. There's no police, no nothing. And they're all doing us. There must be, what, a thousand people here, maybe more? Yeah, but I think it's really dis disrespectful for the, like I say, for them that died last week. And... Yeah. Because I'm trying to do a knife crime campaign. Mm. I take a flag to every football game. Right, right. And I took one to Hull last week and they actually took it inside the ground to get a photograph of it. Yeah. And Aston Villa, you're not allowed to take flags in at all. Yeah. But I was allowed because of what was on the flag. Yeah. Now, it is really sad to see. Like you said, we should be just tackling it at the root, which is knife crime, yes. which is what happened. Yeah. But instead, we're just fighting violence with violence at the but minute. Smashing down, city up. Yeah. Everywhere around the country, they're all smashing down, city up. Yeah. And what's the point? What are you going to gain by smashing down, city? It's going to be more tax. Yeah. Contact tax next year. Excuse me. Oh, guys. That guy was clearly sad. He's not too far. He said he's from Newcastle. But right now, this has gone way beyond like left and right and politics. This is just about right and wrong now. And smashing windows and affecting your local community just isn't the answer. Look here, guys, even got dogs. I don't know what this guy's doing driving down here. I'm lucky his car's still intact. Oh, my days. Like I said, guys, I have no idea where to stand. Maybe this isn't the best place, but... All I'm noticing is this place is really under-policed. London had hundreds... Oh, sorry, mate. Come on, mate. All right, cool, cool. London had hundreds and hundreds of police. Here has about 20, if that. Hey, lad, fuck no. Hey, lads, what do you think about all this? It's not what it fucking is. It's a load of bullshit. Are you local? Yep. Yeah. Do you think the message has changed now? Before I've been to the, I've been to two protests so far. And before it was, it was meant to be about the three girls that were murdered, and now the, the narrative is this changing. Has been, this has been coming for about forty years. Yeah. Now we're hitting, and it's going to get worse. What What is the message now? Then why do you think people are here today? Is it just to cause trouble? Is there any message behind the the, the violence? There's ninety percent of people here probably just to do a general protest. The rest are just a few jobs. Yeah. You're always going to get it. Do you think it's the locals' responsibility rather than the police to kind of like put them in check and just say what you're doing or bring what, back the old laws, take our country back? Hmm. Scenes, the scenes here, I feel like you need more than the police here. Maybe they might like, bring the army in or something. People are saying it's racist. It's obviously not racist. You're not British, are you? Uh, I'm from here, but uh, yeah, but I'm, you're not British, are you? So it's, I, not, it's, I got, it's not racist. Yeah, I got British passport. But. Yeah, no, but you're not like I've got I've got family, family or Pakistani. Yeah, yeah. Like this isn't about that. Yeah. For the biggest majority of us, it's not about it. Yeah. But it is what it is. The only violence I've seen today is from the police and from different cultures trying to instigate violence. Yeah. I've seen here, I've read on about Middlesbrough and the crime rate that goes on. Do you think there's an issue here with knife crime as well? Or There's an issue with knife crime here, there's an issue with gun crime here. It's The biggest crime here is Cleveland Police. Yeah, they're not, they're not trusted. Of them, I've been arrested for nothing. Mm. My dad's disabled, he's been battered off him, he's been arrested, he's got one arm, he said he's solid him. He's got one arm, how the fuck can a one-armed man assault a police officer? Yeah. It's, it's, it's just cleaning the police, that's all I've got to say. Yeah. Cool. Cheers, mate, thanks. Enjoy your day, mate. All right, you too, you too. Wow, the roads are completely blocked, these cars can't move. Uh, I guess they're protecting it, protecting uh, those people. Got riot shields here, wow. Guys, I am telling you now, I've never seen anything like this in my life. This is crazy. This is probably the first and last time I'm going to come here. Because this is not safe at all. I don't even know what I'm doing here now. Wow. Look at the vans in the park. I mean, it, like I said, it's a Sunday afternoon. Kids should probably be playing football in that park. Have you, mate? Do you yeah. mind? Are you from here? Yeah. Do you mind saying a few words? It's like, uh, just like, what do you think of all this? Uh, the march, yeah, but the vandalism, nah. 
Mm. It shouldn't be right. It shouldn't be smashing up. Uh, are, 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 you, are you local? Have you come to actually join the protest today or are you just yeah. kind of a bystander? Bystander. Yeah. But the way they go on, standing up for the right, if they lose, don't stand up for the right, you're going to lose the right. Yeah. So, Do you think we're really close to having things like such as the army coming in? Because this looks really under police at the minute. This is going to go on for a while until they get what they want. Have you ever seen anything like this in Middlesbrough? This many people turning out and kind of protesting and just football matches. Football. That's it. But I've never seen so many people in Middlesbrough. I didn't even think they had that many police in Middlesbrough. Yeah. What do you think the actual message after today is, though? Like, if there was one that was to be sent. This is England. Don't take over England. It belongs to England. But who's ta who's who's taken over England? Do you think? I think all the immigrants and that. But apart from that. The legal, the legal ones, they should be brought back, but the ones that are here with British passports, fair enough. But to go out and vandalise everything, nah, don't agree to that. What's the shop's got to do with a march? Nothing. Guys, I don't know if you realise, but literally this is like a normal road. Cars are actually driving down here, and I can't believe it's been boarded off. This guy's decided to sit in the road. People are coming left and right, and literally there's the police right here. And, yeah, I'm standing way back. I'm not getting involved in this. Jesus Christ, guys. I might stand over here. Me. I see you're stuck in the traffic here. What do you make of all this? Fucking wild, isn't it? Are you from here? Yeah, I'm from Buddy, yeah. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Get the court turned over. That's what they need to do. Turn the courts over. Yeah. That's what they need to do. Not be up here, down at the courts. That's yeah. what they need to do, man. Fuck me, guys. This is unbelievable. I'm here. Yeah. Right. I threw my carer out. I have mental health problems. Yeah. From Nigeria. He's a refugee. Yeah. And he was bullying me in my own home. I had to get him out of my house. That was on Thursday. Mm. I have an adult social worker I had the phone. Have they got back to me about it? No, they haven't. The mental health team are the ones that were sorting it out. And that's what the country's like now. But, no but, jobs to no one. But do you think we're painting everyone with the same brush as uh, maybe a migrant yeah, or well, I, There's a few people who've been a bit rowdy, but they're not even here now. Yeah. So, and they were only children. I see on a bike with nine year old or something. So a bridge out of your windows. That's not what people are here for. They're here because they're upset about stuff. And they have a right to be upset, don't they? They're losing a the national identity. Jesus Christ, that guy just said if you're white you can come through. Oh my days. Bloody hell. It's not a religious battle or racist battle, it's a government battle now. Yeah, is this, is this the people versus the government? What's the message then? If that, And is this the best way to send the message to the government? Viol sometimes violent in the answer, but like, now this is the only way they can actually change. Yeah. Words aren't saying anything, so... Have some people come here for violence? You two lads are covering your faces. I mean, some people, a lot of people, not, a lot of people are covering their faces. Is that the reason why some people have come here today? Some are doing violence, and some are just, like, they don't want to get caught in association. Okay. So that's why I've got mine covered. Right, right, OK, just for safety. Yeah. Yeah. W what do you think the view is around here of the local police in Cleveland? Because I've heard this is one of the most dangerous areas, and, wow, people are pushing and shoving as we're, just as we're talking. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we don't start it, they start it. Like, Fuck me, guys. <laughs> oh. It starts with, like, police brutality and that, so... Yeah, I mean, they're smashing the, a car who's... Oh, yeah. my God. What are we doing here? If you're not white, you can't go through. Wow. Do you agree with that, or...? No comment. Right. Guys, there's stuff getting thrown left, right and centre. Ladies, what a dog. <clears throat> well, someone just f***ed me. Someone, people are throwing things left, right and centre. They're literally picking up anything they can find.
The people are charging the police now. Oh, Jesus Christ. Are we boys? Are we pushed forward then? Carl, don't stop, push forward. There's literally another group of people on the other side. Oh, I think they're the local Muslim community, it seems like, I think. I'm not too sure. Oh. I'm gonna stand to the side so I don't get hit by a brick. Wow. Oh, bits are getting thrown of all sorts. People are charging the police. Oh. Jesus Christ, guys. The last thing I want to do is get hit by a baton. <laughs> oh, someone's been taken down by the police. Uh-oh. Well, kicks are being thrown. They're getting there, I'll move back to now. Yeah. Hello, Tommy, hello, Mick. Bloody hell. Yeah. Neil took the Max 95 at him, but like... <laughs> Is this normal in Middlesbrough? Does this happen often? Not really, to be honest. Have you ever seen anything like it? No. Last time there was like a protest or whatever you call it, it was for Palestine, but like... Is there even a big Muslim community in Middlesbrough? You are. Is there a big Mis Muslim community in Middlesbrough? Yeah. Yeah? It's more than three quarters, I would say. Right. Fucking hell. This guy has literally got a, a bin. What's the bin for? I'm all young, all the young girl. Guys, what's, what's the reason for doing this? Jesus Christ, fuck me. These guys are literally lighting up a bin. You know. It's mental. These guys are putting a bin, literally a disabled man, in the middle of all of it. They've set it on fire and pushed it against uh, into the police. We want our bin back. We want our bin back. Are you fucking white? Oh, yeah. Well, they're literally going into people's houses and collecting their bins. I guess to light on fire. This is mental. Oh my God! The ladies come out. Literally, the ladies come out of the house. Jesus Christ. What are they doing? Hey, man, what, what, what's, what's the reason for the bin? Yeah, because we're going to show straight in. For the police? Yeah, light on fire shine. Bloody hell, lads. What, 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 what's, what's the message of all this? <laughs> okay, now this guy's literally lighting this wheelie bin on fire. Fuck me. Jesus Christ, this is mental, guys. Uh, this is like... This is just to cause disruption now. I don't think, like, they're here to protest or anything. Just people who want to ruin their city at the minute. Well, the lady's getting arrested and pulled back. Bloody hell. Not pepper sprayed. Fucking pepper spoon, all that. Fucking hell. 
This is really crazy, guys. It's turned into a war zone. Literally, wheelie bins have been set on fire. See that, James? <laughs> Did you see that? Hello? Show me, where? They're there, on the car, it's burning. Can you see him? Fuck, get out of the car, get out of the car. Send me your location, send me your location. I will see you in the car park. I know, I can't remember where it is. Just send me the location. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll wait here, wait here. Can you wait here for me? Can you wait? Um... I'm here, I'm here, I'm here. Hold on. <laughs> You're up in there. You okay? Whilst I was filming, my girl waited for me in the car. I thought I parked in a safe place as the protest was meant to happen in the high street. Later I realised we were walking back to where I was parked, so I started keeping an eye out, although the crowd kept his distance. When I eventually saw the police, I thought this was the back end of the protest, and we were soon well away from the car park. I later realised more people would show up. The young kid started to smash all the cars in the car park, but didn't smash mine because she was inside. I stopped a car in the road and luckily this man rushed to drive me back. It would have taken me at least 10 minutes just to run there. I have no idea who you are, but thank you so much. The police eventually came and when the kids heard the siren, they ran away. I'm not sure what would have happened if they didn't. Literally just came back and luckily my car's okay. People's cars getting smashed. There's literally a car on fire. Guys, I just had to escape the mayhem as my car was literally about to get smashed up. And look, from where I literally started the video, there's a car on fire. This is fucking stupid, guys. This car's literally blowing up. I can literally feel the heat the closer I get to this car. How they managed to turn a car upside down? You from today, no? Look at all these cars. All smashed to pieces. I'm gonna get away in case this, uh, this goes any further. But I can literally feel the heat off this car. And man, this is unbelievable. I don't even know what people are doing now. It's just young people causing trouble. Oh, Jesus. Wow. It's sad to say, but this has really become racial. This isn't about politics or anything. This has just become an excuse for people to destroy the local community, similar to what we saw in the London riots. And I feel like this is just the beginning. I, I can imagine this happening all over England now. Wow. Huh? You're like 10 years old, a fucking idiot. I'm 13 and then a lot of other people jump on the car and the woman said, oh, there's a woman in the car and a few people pulled the door and said, get on, the bitch, get on. Oh my God. And then I locked the door. He said to me, lock the door, they will pull me out. <sighs> <laughs> horrible, horrible. Look at that, man. Just ridiculous. No need for it, man. Just... Just, I feel like this isn't even about protest anymore. People are just chosing it as a day out they're to just, cause trouble. They're just doing it out of bother. They're just doing it out of trouble. That's it. There's no need for it. I mean, man. Cleveland is a dangerous place, but have you ever seen anything like this before? No. Never seen that like this. It's horrific. We've done this and all. We've done yours and all. We've done yours. What? What? I'm disgusted. Absolutely disgusted. This was not a protest. It was an excuse for people to be anti-social, essentially. Uh, and you can clearly see what they've done. I'm guessing you live here. This is your car? It is, yeah. 
How do you feel about all this? I mean, your local resident, I'm guessing, too? Disgusted and devastated and embarrassed that I'm a, a Middlesbrough Council resident. I think the police should have done something way before now. They knew this was going to happen. It was advertised clearly enough, but they've clearly done nothing about it once again. Thank you, anyway. I appreciate it. Yeah, no, it's fine, it's fine. Wow, this guy's car's literally been smashed to pieces. He literally lives here. My hand's literally shaking just holding the mic, trying to chat to him. I can't even imagine how people must be feeling around here. Just look at it. Middlesbrough has been absolutely destroyed. Die Reaktionen auf die Gewalt waren gemischt. Einige Menschen zeigten sich besorgt und enttäuscht über die Eskalation. Die lokale muslimische Gemeinschaft versuchte, ihre Nachbarschaften zu schützen. Und es kam zu einem erhöhten Sicherheitsaufgebot durch die Polizei. Der Kommentator berichtet von der brutalen Zerstörung und der Furcht vor weiteren Unruhen. Inmitten der Zerstörung wurde eine GoFundMe-Kampagne gestartet, um den Opfern der Gewalt zu helfen. Die Solidarität und Unterstützung aus der Gemeinschaft zeigen, dass trotz der Verzweiflung Menschen zusammenkommen um sich gegenseitig zu unterstützen. What about that guy? How even we make them? Now let's get out, let's get out. Hold how, it. How, how, how? That road, that road. But they're everywhere. How even they block us? How even they stopped us? Did you see the video? They stopped us, pulled people out. People are driving fine that way. Come, let's just go. How even they fuck? Straight, straight ahead. Oh, fuck, can't get out that way. Oh my god, they're there. Chill out, chill out. Even the smash car just smashed the car. Hey, mate, mate, is a, is a road clear? What? Is that road clear? Um, I wouldn't say so, mate. There's a uh, old right police, right lads. Hey, mate, buddy, is the road clear? Is that road clear? It is, but they're all on the side roads. They're all macheted up. Fuck's sake. Oh, shit. Now put it in. Leave the camera, leave the camera. Wow, well, guys, literally, a car's been blown. Literally, a car's been blown up. Let's just go. Why the? Go her out at Explo. Fuck, it's so hot. Have a gas box. They don't hurt people, they just smash things, right? Yeah. We managed to drive further away to a car park where we met some locals who weren't there to cause trouble. Hey lads! Oh wait, hold on. Oh shit. They're not welcome. Wait. Yo mate! Yeah, you, oh, it'll be it? sound here, just don't park over there now. Why are you reckon here? Is it like... Yeah, nothing's going on around here. But what, happens when they, what, what, what happens when they leave? When everyone come this way? Is this a residential area? No, they all, they all... After taking some time to recover, we decided to continue filming and I went back with the locals. Well guys, I don't know. I've come to another street now and they're literally smashing more houses and windows. There's smoke in the distance. Another car vehicle's been set on fire. Jesus Christ, literally mums with the kids walking by. Red Bull. I'm the fact that I want to give it to you anyway. Who's got you them cunts down there, man. Well, guys. I mean, this was literally turned into a war zone, guys. I can't even believe it. Wow. All sorts being smashed up. Oh, yeah, I think that those guys have like robbed a shop. Oh, man, look at this woman with her car. This is crazy. 
I think that's a, a dustbin that's been set on fire in the distance. Windows being smashed, this place is literally a tip now. There's a huge fire, yeah, it's a car actually, I can see it clearly now. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. But someone's car has been set on fire, it's the second one I've seen. Jesus Christ. Wow. There's dogs here, the police have got their riot gear. Wow. This is super scary and I think what happened was people robbed a Tesco. That's why people got those drinks there. Wow. People's houses, glass being smashed. I mean, this is just mayhem now. I don't even know what the point of all this is. This is really, really sad to see. All right, the police have come from all angles now. And it's just come down from here, so they're trying to box people in. I don't know why the police haven't really made any arrests of these people. And yeah, literally it's causing terror in the street. People are driving away. Oh my days. Tommy. Fire engines come. Wow, there's literally a fireman just down there. Wow, this is... This is a war zone. So I really don't know how much longer I can actually stay here. I really don't know how safe this is going to be. Obviously, it's like the... <laughs> yeah, right, mate. <laughs> Me. Yeah, obviously, like... God, I don't know where to look. There's stuff going around me everywhere. Guys, this is disgusting. People's windows are getting smashed. It's just people causing carnage now. Oh, this is the, the local Muslim community protecting their area, which is really good to see. And people are throwing stuff. This is really becoming like a, a racial, religious battle now. People are throwing stuff at the right gear. Hey, mate. The news? No, YouTube, mate. YouTube. Yeah, what do you think of all this? I don't know. Uh, you do need all foreigners out there, don't we? Is this what? Is this there's no foreign, there's no foreigners in causing trouble. Yeah, these guys really aren't here for the, the girls that are murdered. This is definitely like a racial, racial thing now. Jesus Christ. Me, I'm standing back, guys. Guys, this is absolutely mental. The charging out of all sorts of stuff. There's literally kids here. I mean, what the? F Uh, people are starting to move. More police are coming in. Yeah, this is super under police compared to the London one. This is... They're just letting people just literally <laughs> roam the street and cause mayhem. Completely outnumbered, literally like five police to about thousands of people. Wow, literally it's broken into someone's house. Now what they're doing. Literally no one's doing anything. It's just kids. Jesus Christ guys, this is absolutely disgusting. Literally break God, what the hell are you doing? Bro, I'm leaving. Oh my days. Why are you sticking up for the You know, these are animals. Jesus Christ, guys, this is mental. Wow. It's your police van coming through. 
Me, I'm boxed in. I want to get out. All right, guys, this is not safe. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get out. I'm not going to stay here much longer. Hopefully the police let me go. Let's, let's see if I can, they'll let me out. Officer, can I go through? Oh, huh? Where do I go? Officer, how do I get out? Yeah, how do I get out? Mate, how, how can I get out? I'm not... Yeah, all right, cheers. Thank you, thank you. All right. Guys, I'm getting out of here. This is way too dangerous. There's people like with weapons, they're picking up planks of wood. Man, I don't want to die for a video. Bloody hell. I mean, this is absolutely crazy. Police here, local residents getting their house smashed in. I mean, this is not the message that you want to be sending to the, to the public. This is just racial, it's disgusting. Man, this is absolutely disgusting. The whole street has been destroyed. This guy's, Jesus Christ. This is mayhem. I can't believe it. Absolutely brutal. What do you think? Do you, live around, do you live around here? I do. Have you ever seen anything like it? Absolutely not. It's brutal. Absolutely brutal. What do you think? Who do you think? What, what, I mean, what do you have to say? I mean, I'm, I'm speechless. Young people smashing up people's houses. So am I. I've never seen Break, anything like it. Breaking into people's... I've lived around here 17 years. Yeah. Uh, seven years. People, people are... You know, it's, it's, it's oh, brutal. Hey, me. See? There you go. No, there you pe go. Pe people definitely aren't here to protest. Just here to cause trouble, isn't it? They're not the protesters, they're the bad ones. The protesters are what was going down Linfart Road with the white banner. Yeah. These are not protesters, the bad ones. This is crazy. That throw, that like throw bricks in there. There's not enough policemen here. There's about, there's about nearly like plus 500 people. Police are stretched, aren't they? <sighs> guys, guys, guys. I don't know what to say. I've never seen anything crazy like this. This is, we're living in England and this is what's going on. Oh my days. All right, guys, I'm going to go in. I'm going to leave the video here. I'll see you for the next one. I'm the only one. Yeah, yeah I'm not the only one. All they're doing is causing trouble for everyone around the area. They shouldn't be here, and they shouldn't be putting windows through, and they shouldn't be causing trouble. Yeah. We work here. We've had to lock the back, all the gates, the back door, and I've worked here 30 odd years. I've never seen anything like it. What's, what's, the, what's the solution? This is happening all around England at the minute. I haven't got a clue. You know, if they're going to protest, do a peaceful one. But they're not. They're just causing trouble. All right, guys, I've gotten a bit further away from where all the action was happening. As you can hear, there's still a helicopter. I've managed to speak to a few of the local community as I was walking back, and they can't believe it. They said they've never seen anything like this. But I'd like to end it on this. I'm not for the attack of Muslims and all this kind of racial stuff that's going on. This has been absolutely disgusting, probably the worst thing I've ever seen in my life. And now I'm definitely never coming back here again. I feel so sorry for the local community to have to live here tomorrow. And what I want to try to do is make us some sort of GoFundMe to help those people who've actually been affected here. I've seen people's windows getting smashed in, people walking into someone's house. I mean, and no one even tried to stop them. Oh, I feel ashamed, honestly. I, I've, it's been disgusting. But yeah, I'll try to make some sort of GoFundMe or, I don't know, do something, because um, it's just been unbelievable. I am speechless. But yeah, no, definitely going to see you for the next one. A GoFundMe was set up for this person's car and £20,000 was raised. Turns out he was working as a carer and came home to see his car like this. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe. Ich finde es gut, dass die Engländer auf die Straßen gehen und sich das nicht mehr bieten lassen. Es ist wichtig, dass Menschen ihre Stimmen erheben und für ihre Rechte kämpfen. Doch was absolut nicht geht, ist unschuldige Menschen anzugreifen oder Eigentum zu zerstören. Autos anzuzünden oder Häuser zu beschädigen, hilft niemandem und schadet nur der Gemeinschaft. Ich hoffe, dass wir alle daraus lernen und in Zukunft auf friedlichere und konstruktivere Weise unsere Anliegen zum Ausdruck bringen können. Danke, dass ihr zugesehen habt. Wenn ihr mehr über die Situation erfahren wollt, bleibt dran, abonniert den Kanal und drückt auf die Glocke, um keine neuen Videos zu verpassen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Passt auf euch auf und bleibt sicher.